when you're troubleshooting cabling issues, it can sometimes be very easy to tell what's going on because you can see the cable. You can look at the cable to see how it is looking. You can unplug it and look inside of the connector. Sometimes cable problems are invisible. You can't look at them to determine what's going on. So you have to start troubleshooting that way as well. Now, if you plug in a cable and you're getting no connection and you can't connect to anything, that's obviously going to be an issue. So you may want to troubleshoot the cable itself to determine what's going on. You might also run into cases where you've plugged in the cable and you have a connection, but you're getting very slow throughput. You're trying file transfers. You're testing out communication across local machines on your network. And you're just not seeing the type of throughput you were expecting. You were expecting that file transfer to be much faster than it's getting. And it's a very common thing when you first plug in a lot of systems is to perform some of those tests to make sure you don't have any type of cabling problems. You might be in a situation where it's working normally, and then all of a sudden the connection goes away. And you don't have any connectivity. Maybe down on the bottom of your screen it says that no connection is there. And then all of a sudden the connection comes back, and you work normally for a little while longer and then the connection goes away again. All of these types of issues point towards some problem with the cable. So we'll want to begin a troubleshooting process to determine if the problem we're seeing is really associated with that physical cable connection. If we're not getting any type of connectivity at all, there's no link light, there's no connection at all, nothing ever happens to light up that port so that we can send data, then we might really have a physical problem with that cable. So we need to look at it and visually examine. Is there a crimp inside of the cable? Can we see that there is a bend in the cable itself? Are we getting a link light or are we not getting a link light? If we get no link light, we might really want to look at this specific cable configuration. If we are getting a link light, Maybe our problem is with the crimping inside of the cable, the, the type of connector that was put onto the end of the cable itself. And we might want to pull it out, look at the connection, and see if the wires are really in the right pins at the very end of this RJ45 cable. That's a very common place where mistakes are made. Maybe we want to cut the cable off, put another connector on the end, recrimp it, and see if we can solve that particular issue. And if we want to be sure that it's not the cable, one of the simplest things you can do is to simply replace the cable. Maybe run a connection across the floor with a completely different cable and see if the same thing still occurs. If we've plugged in a connection and the throughput is just not as fast as we thought it would be, we might want to check to see if that link light is there. Maybe it's turning on or turning off for us. We may want to see again if someone has perhaps crimped the cable or perhaps the connection on the end is not exactly as we expect. And again, a very simple test for this is to simply swap out the cable. If we are having intermittent connectivity where it seems to work fine and then we have no signal, and it seems to work fine, and then we have no signal, that link light is probably turning on and off and on and off right there on a switch or on the back of your Ethernet card of your device. And if that's the case, we really might have a signal problem. Maybe it's a very long run, and we're losing a lot of the signal strength over that run. Maybe there's a problem with the cable itself, and it's not able to send signal over even a very short distance. So you see a very common solution to each one of these is swap the cable, swap the cable, and swap the cable. And that's because it's so easy to do that. In most environments, very simple to use a different patch cord and see if that solved the problem. And it's remarkable how many times when I'm looking at a problem with connectivity, and I'm thinking, this is a brand new cable. I just unwrapped it. I just pulled it out of the bag. I plugged it into my workstation and plugged it into the jack that's on the wall. I really don't think the cable is the problem. But before I call anyone else, before I open a ticket, before I involve other resources, let's swap it out anyway. And I'll swap out that cable. And sure enough, a brand new cable out of the bag was faulty. And so that's one of the very easy things you can do. And it's very simple to take care of. And you can resolve the problem in a very short period of time.